y'all it's Lacey the Catholic icing lady and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together my printable peg dolls that are on my website and I'm going to share the link in the description below so you can find your download there here are the supplies you need including some paint some brushes some Mod Podge and of course the download you're also going to need a pair of scissors and I use a paper plate for mixing the paint and then of course you're going to need the wooden peg itself. So I'm starting with the skin tone which I'm just going to shake before I squirt out on my plate. I usually put down my first layer of paint with a one inch foam brush because it's just so easy to get good coverage. So on my download I have pictures of what the head should look like on the front, the side, and the back. And I tell you step by step how to paint the heads yourself because that's the only part that you actually have to paint. So first you're going to cut out this printable part. So that part's going to wrap around your peg. It has these little triangles at the top and you're just going to take some scissors and the easiest way to get the triangles out is to cut up and up and the little triangle falls out and that makes it fit onto your peg. So now that you have your paper cut out, I have also Mother Teresa, and I'm gonna set these over to the side because first we have to paint the head onto our peg doll. So I've got a big pile of white, I'm adding just a little dot of black, and I'm gonna mix that together to have gray for St. Pope John Paul II's hair color. So I'm just coming in with little strokes, and that's the hair that comes across his forehead, and then I'm gonna make a line down each side of his face. But a lot of people find it easier to put these lines in with pencil first and then fill it in with paint. That's good if that works for you. Now I'm making his hairline across like the what would be the back of his neck. And it doesn't have to be really straight because it's just hair. So it's hanging down. So then I'm filling that in with the gray. And now what I'm going to do, while the gray paint is still wet, I'm going to take a little bit of my white. I'm going to put some white strokes in here as well, like he's got some little white hairs mixed in. And I'm not going to blend it all the way. I'm just going to let him mix a little bit, but I'm going to leave the color variation. And as long as you try to keep your paint strokes going the same direction as his hair, that should look pretty good for you. When the hair is dry, you're ready to add the white circle on the back of his head for his hat. So you're going to get that circle completely filled in, and then you're going to let that dry. And his hat is definitely going to need a second coat because it's white. And if you want to speed that process up, you can dry your paint layers in between with your hair dryer. That'll help you dry it really, really fast. Now we're ready to put the face in. And the great part about this is you're just going to look at the printable that you have. It shows you how to do it. And you can just do it with a Sharpie marker. Now I have a Sharpie Pro, which I do like better than a regular Sharpie, but a regular Sharpie marker will also work. A black paint pen can also work if you have a black paint pen. So his eyes are just these little curves. Then we're gonna come in and put in his nose, which is like an upside down seven. Then he gets a long curvy smile and two little cheeks at the end. That's it, you can totally do this. Now you can see on my printable guide here that I have that his head matches on the front and the side and the back. So now we are ready to Mod Podge on the body that's already been painted for you. So first I'm gonna take my foam brush, again my one inch foam brush, I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and run it all the way down his body. And then I'm gonna put the paper right on in the middle and smooth it around to the back and stick it on there. Then each one of these little tabs where the triangle is cut, it bends and it folds right around the neck. And I'm just slicking that down with my finger onto the Mod Podge. And now I'm gonna take my foam brush again and like layer another layer of Mod Podge right on top of that, right away while it's still wet. Then I go ahead and carefully hold it at the bottom and I go ahead and do a layer of Mod Podge around the head as well. But then I don't touch the head as I set it down, like set it down really carefully at the bottom. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we'll go ahead and put in our face on the Mother Teresa peg doll here. So she has a different face in him. She has these little dots for eyes, then her nose, and she gets a little smile also. And then she has these little lines on her eyes like that. Okay, then she also gets her blue lines painted in. She's pretty simple to paint. And 
extend that blue line on this side and when she's dry and ready to Mod Podge put a layer of Mod Podge on Mother Teresa as well then we take our wrap our printable wrap and we just wrap it around there smooth it down again the tabs they get slicked down if there's any folds or bubbles you can just push them out with your finger or your fingernail just folds right down then while she's still wet go ahead and give her a layer of Mod Podge on top the Mod Podge is so genius because it sticks down the paper but it also seals in the part that you painted at the top of your peg doll in one one step so I'm gonna give these a second coat I like them to have two coats of Mod Podge because I think it lasts longer when your kids are playing with the peg dolls all the time if you do a second coat that's it he's dry and look I think these really look hand painted and it's because the printable part that you print I actually did paint it is actually hand painted with the kind of same size of paintbrush and everything and the Mod Podge itself gives a painted texture over the top of the paper and my kids absolutely love these peg dolls. They play with them all the time. I think of all the toys in our entire home, the wooden saint peg dolls have been played with more than any other toy. So now you know that you can also have saint peg dolls in your home and you don't have to have a lot of money. You don't have to have a lot of artistic ability. The saint peg dolls are for everyone.